Number one, Erica says that there is no matter how many decimal places she divides to when she divides one by three, the digit three in the quotient will just keep repeating. Is she correct? If we look up at the example at Erica's problem, you can see that the number three in the quotient, quotient means answer, goes on and on and on. So yes, she is correct. Because each time we add a zero and bring it down, we get a 10. Three can go into 10 nine times, or three times, which is nine. Subtract and you get one, and the pattern continues. Number two, is the decimal for four over three a repeating decimal? Explain. So we're gonna set up a division problem. Three can go into four one time. One times three is three, subtract and you get one. I'm gonna add my decimal and my zero and bring it down. Three can go into 10 three times, subtract and I get nine. I get a one and you can, you can tell that the three is going to repeat. So yes, it is repeating. Because, Three can go into 10 three times. Number three, how could Erica have used the decimal that she wrote for one third to find the decimal for two thirds? Since the denominators are the same, they're both threes, they will both be, be repeating decimals. Number four, write the decimal for one eighth. Explain why this decimal is called a terminating decimal. So eight can't go into one, so we add a decimal and a zero. Eight can go into 10 one time, subtract, and you get two. We're gonna add another zero and bring it down. 8 can go into 20 twice, we get 16, subtract and you get 4. Add another 0 and bring it down, 8 can go into 45 times. The decimal is 1.25. It's called a terminating decimal because it stops. Terminating means stops. Number five, tell whether each statement below is true or false. If it is false, write an example that proves the statement is false. All fractions can be written as repeating decimals. That is false. Because the fraction one half is written as 0 0.5. It is a terminating decimal. It does not repeat. The second one, if a fraction can be written as a repeating decimal, only one digit can repeat over and over without end. That is also false. We know that there are decimals that can repeat multiple numbers like the repeating decimal 0.12. The fraction for point one two repeating would be 12 over 99. Number six, Raj is playing a game. He needs to find pairs of cards that have the same value. Which two pairs of cards does Raj have that express the same value? So the pairs of cards we have are seven ninths and point seven repeating are the same. So 7 ninths and 0.7 repeating, and 3 eighths and 0.375 are the same. Number seven, write each number in the appropriate box to show its placement along the number line. So 0.25 is one of our easiest ones. It's not quite halfway between zero and one. So 0.25 is gonna go here in the middle. 
1.78 is going to be here. It's close to 2, but not quite all the way. 2 thirds is less than 1, but more than 1 fourth. So 2 thirds is going to go there. Negative 2 eighths is not quite at negative 3. It's close, but not all the way. Which means negative 13 over 9 is the only negative left. And 2.16 repeating is the only positive left.